Fun fact, Jeremy the snail was a very rare snail, literally one in a million, because Jeremy's shell spiraled to the left in a counterclockwise direction, which is very rare because almost all snails' shells spiral to the right in a clockwise direction. But tragically, due to his left coiling shell, all of Jeremy's organs were on the opposite side of his body, meaning he could not reproduce with a typical right coiling snail. This made the scientists who were studying Jeremy sad. So the scientists went to the BBC and asked the public for help in finding another left coiling snail so that Jeremy could reproduce. An international search was launched and people all over the world began looking for another snail with a left coiling shell. Two were found, Lefty from Ipswich and Tomo from Majorca, Spain. Scientists were excited and introduced Jeremy to Lefty and Tomo, but rather than mate with Jeremy, Lefty and Tomo mated with each other, once again leaving Jeremy without a mate. A year later, scientists arrived at work and found Jeremy dead from natural causes, but thankfully, shortly before his death, Jeremy mated with Tomo, meaning his legacy will live on in the 56 baby snails Tomo ended up producing.